Inside the recently renovated Caldale Hall on Buffalo State's campus, you'll find the Russell J. Salvatore Demonstration Kitchen. On Thursday, a culinary demonstration was hosted at the kitchen by graduate student Peter Flanagan and chef Stephen Bergeson, who shared his thoughts on the unique vision he had for the kitchen. I'm, I was on a mission to bring this facility up to the today's standards because uh, we wanted students to come in and to learn and to be proud and to do, to make food with the equipment that they would see in the industry as the restaurant owners and entrepreneurs of the future. Flanagan, a chef and one of the proud student Chef Bergeson was referring to, used the kitchen to present a culinary demonstration on microgreens, tiny nutrient-packed vegetables that are harvested within the first two weeks of germination. All the microgreens used in Thursday's demonstration were sourced locally by integrated micro farms owner Jim Greer. Oh, well, first of all, all, all of them are organic. Uh, and I'm growing the arugula and we're growing the uh, kohlrabi. You can see the wonderful purple stems on the kohlrabi. Uh, also bok choy, which has a beautiful white stem to it. And um, the, um, oh, radish. Couldn't think of radish for a second. While microgreens are small in size, Flanagan tells us they are large in nutritional value. You know that they're really, really packed with nutrients and they have like four to 40 times more nutrients than adult greens in that seven to 14 day range. And that you could buy them, you know, still in soil. You clip them and you eat them. That's where most of your nutrients in all plants are lost. Right after they're harvested, Within like 12 hours, they're losing like 30% of their nutrients. So if you can cut right from the root and eat, then your body's really getting a lot more nutrients. A crowd of about 30 people attended Thursday's demonstration, each of whom got a taste of the dishes that were made incorporating microgreens, included a golden consomme and steak tartare. Apart from being able to sample free, healthy food, Chef Bergeson notes people enjoy events like this for opportunities to learn about locally sourced foods. But I believe there's a growing inclination to want to be informed and to understand and to care. I mean, that's why people have their own gardens, they're raising herbs in their kitchen, and they go to places that feature fresh local products. Locally sourced microgreens, like the ones used in Thursday's demonstration, can be purchased from places like Niagara Produce or the Lexington Co-op. For the Buffalo Review, I'm Ben Hover.